Retired FBI Special Agent, why is the DNC resisting to surrender its compromised servers for forensic examination? By Christina Layla for the GatewayPundit.com. On Thursday, retired FBI agent James Gagliano asked why the DNC is resisting to surrender its compromised servers if they were truly the victim of a hack? Very good question. And notice that they're still begging them, asking them, why didn't you turn over the servers? And yet they're, they, they, uh, they go and steal uh, uh, information from Trump's camp, the uh, text messages that they got without uh, 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 permission. They uh, stormed uh, Cohen's uh, office and house, Manafort too. I mean, they didn't ask any questions. They didn't ask if they want to turn over something. Why is the DNC always the ones that you have to tiptoe around? So Gagliano also said it's unheard of for the U.S. government to take the word of a private forensics company, CrowdStrike, at trial. The retired FBI agent also asked why isn't the FBI rigorously investigating the Clinton camp's Ukrainian collusion connections? Very good question, and here are his tweets right here. What is difficult to reconcile? If played straight, why didn't number one FBI DOJ compel DNC to turn over compromise server? Two, investigate as rigorously Clinton campaign's Ukrainian connections. Uh, Ukraine connections. And three, if Trump uh, campaign's uh, peripherals comprom uh, compromise, not Trump, why not read in Sir Leaders? Or I don't know what that means, but if anybody knows, feel free. Round two, why the resistance to surrender the servers for forensic examination? Confirmed by DHS, DNI, successful phishing attack by Russia, hostile state actor on DNC. Also, John Podesta's email account. So how are those materials not central pieces of national security investigation? And why would there be resistance to surrender for forensic examination? Gagliano then asked, when was the last time you ever heard of the USG taking the word of a private forensics company at trial? Or in this instance, in a matter of sensitive national security implications, have no problem with outside entity doing their own forensics harvesting but not allowing FBI to review? Um, okay, yeah. Former White House spokesperson uh, there, Ari Fleischer, reacted to James Gagliano. This from a retired FBI special agent. Jordan here, your periodic reminder that the DNC refused to turn over its hacked, quote, servers to the FBI. Yes, the entire Trump-Russia timeline relies on primary attribution analysis, which even CrowdStrike admits is shoddy from a third-party contractor, not the U.S. government. The answer is we have never seen anything like this. The government still has not done a forensics, uh, a forensic inspection of the crime uh, scene, meaning the DNC servers. Yet, the taxpayers have forked over, over $20 million to pay for a special counsel to investigate. A special counsel was appointed to investigate Trump-Russia collusion without naming a crime, 
we still don't even have proof the DNC servers were hacked, and if hacked, by whom? <laughs> it's so obvious. We all know this from uh, two years ago almost. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They get away. Why are they getting away? Because it's a rigged system. Exactly that. Bottom line, it's a rigged system, folks, the way Trump was speaking. But it's very difficult when you don't have many people rooting for the same team, you know? You think they're on your team, and yet they're not. Like Gowdy and Sessions. I mean, really? Uh, you know, you're, you're at a loss for words. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.